What's up guys? Today we got an order of about 30 pounds of fishing tackle to go through. We're going to unbox it. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to probably give you a few tips. Let's jump right into it. Get the knife over here. All right. Order this from Tackle Warehouse who is not a sponsor by the way. So subscribe, get the views up there. Maybe one day things could happen. All right, open up the box here. You know, I expected this to kind of come in a bigger box, so I'm hoping this is everything I ordered. But let's see. So we got wrapping paper. We got, oh yeah. Looks like here you can see the order slip on here. I'll cover the address, but you can see here we spent uh, 662 and 46 cents. And uh, that's just kind of to stock up for the year. I was running low on a lot of stuff, so I kind of want to just be ready to go. I don't want to really be running around too much if I don't have to be. Obviously, there's probably going to be a case where there's something I didn't know I needed and I'm going to have to get it. But we'll come to that. We'll get to that when we come to it. All right. So get rid of that. Um, get the customary Tackle Warehouse sticker. And it looks like they did send me a shirt with it. I don't remember which one I got. Yeah, so we got the, uh, it's kind of like a wood grain Tackle Warehouse logo, pretty sweet. I'll probably wear that a bunch, actually. I like that a lot. And, uh, well, I guess, I don't know, if, you, if you've ever been to like a, like a Cabela's or somewhere where they got those big bins, they usually have like the clearance, you know, all the clearance tackle in it, and you don't really know what's what, you just kind of got to dig around. Looks like that's kind of how they're packaging their stuff. You can see here it's all just kind of laid in there so uh, i guess we'll just sort through it and get to the bottom uh looks like the first thing they have on top is uh zoom speed craw and i got these in the uh this one is the tilapia magic i got the the alabama craw we got well, it's kind of bent, but I do like these Okeechobee Cross. Some guys don't like them for some reason. I really like them. Uh, I got those. We got some more Alabama Craw, more Alabama. And then we also have the uh, Green Pumpkin and slash Orange Craw. And I really like those on the river, especially here. And then one thing, I've never tried these before, and I'm kind of skeptical on them, but I'm going to try them, especially for smallmouth, like in clear water are these uh smoke purple ones i don't know something about them i'm gonna open them up too they just kind of caught my eye and i know how much i like using the other ones um and i use them pretty much i use them for flipping on the river i really like them on the river for flipping especially because they have the uh they kind of have a nice kick to them the, the claws really flap and create some turbulence in the water and i think that little bit more disturbance uh is key out there uh, and I, I just, I don't know, this color really caught my eye. So I'm going to try that maybe on some clearer water and uh, see what it can produce for me. But yeah, these things, these are pretty much my go-to. I like to have baits that I can do multiple things with. I don't like to have, you know, a hundred million different baits on my boat when I could do the same thing with one of them. So uh, I like to use these for flipping, uh, especially like I said, on the river. And I really mainly use these on the back of a swim jig for the swim jig trailer. And, you know, there's other trailers out there. A lot of people like to use the Rage Craws and the, the Rage Tails and things. And those are great too. But the thing I like about these Zoom Speed Craws, I think it's $3.99 for a bag of 12. So you get a, an incredible value with these things versus a lot of other baits. And they have a great action and they're pretty accessible. So, yeah, I use a lot of these, as you can tell. I bought a whole bunch of them. Uh, so we got those, and then we got a whole bunch of Gary Yamamoto stuff we'll go through. First, I have the classic, the 5-inch Yamasenko, the Senkos. Uh, pull out, I got a whole bunch of this. Holy buckets, guys. I've never ordered this much tackle in my life. This is, I wasn't expecting this much, but, well, I guess I should have expected this much. I ordered it, but anyway. I did get some Yamasenkos. I got them in the uh, the baby bass and the watermelon slash black flake. Uh, those are the two colors I use mainly with those things. And uh, I'll use the black flake 
Uh, when I'm in a little bit more stained water, I, I feel like there's just a little bit better visibility. And as you guys probably know, Gary Yamamoto makes like, God, like 50 different colors in these things. So it's, it's really personal preference with them. I've seen guys catch them on bubblegum pink ones in the same spot that I caught them on black and blue and the same, you know, same spot I've seen people catch them on the baby bass or whatever. Uh, so they make a ton of colors with these things. I think the most important thing with these Senkos, honestly, is the fall, especially when you're using them uh, as a wacky rig and an unweighted wacky rig, I should say, because they have this kind of undulating fall to them as they go down that no other stick bait seems to be able to achieve. I think that's a, the key with these babies. But um, yeah, I like to keep a few bags of these in the boat because it, sometimes you know, the fish are kind of negative or you're having trouble getting bites. Uh, these won't always catch the big fish, but usually you can get a couple bites on them. So got a few bags of those. And then uh, this one, you guys probably don't, don't really have a lot of experience with because uh, I didn't really know about it until uh, Dan McAdams, my tournament partner, put me onto them. These are now my favorite. Here, I'm going to get up kind of close to the camera with these babies too. Uh, you can see these are called the Shad Shape Worm from Gary Yamamoto. And these are by far my favorite drop shot bait. I mean, you can just see how much action that little tail gives off to it. And uh, the only problem is they don't last that long. They usually last about two fish, three fish, and then they're done, you need a new one. But these have action like no other drop shot bait I have used or seen use. So I love using these for drop shotting, for smallies, for largemouth whether it be vertical or casting and dragging, these things have a great action, especially if you're casting and dragging. Uh, a lot, I hook them this way. You know, a lot of people will hook them uh, this way, so they'll have the kind of the hump on top, but I hook it with the hump on bottom, and this seem, that seems to give it kind of that dying bait fish action a little bit more. Uh, that's just what I do, but uh, I like to rig those on a uh, VMC, uh, what do they call it, spin shot hook. I like to rig those on a spin shot hook and uh, drop shot with them. Those are killer killer bait right there so we got those and we got them in the baby bass color the dream pumpkin watermelon color and we got them in the uh the smoke slash black blue and chartreuse color so i'm i've not used those yet but i think they're going to be better on uh some more stained lakes or when there's a lot of boat traffic or something going on i'm really on some picky fish i think those are really going to do the trick uh so we got you know like I said, they're not that durable, so I bought a bunch of them. Got those. Those, more of them. More of them. More of them. More speed craws. Speed craws. Uh, and then we go to the, the classic, the Smalley Beaver. And the Sweet Beaver. Nice. They're right next to each other. The Smalley Beaver and the Sweet Beaver. Uh, I use the smallie beaver mainly on the river, not always, but mainly on the river when I'm fishing for smallmouth because I live so close to the Wisconsin River. And uh, a lot of people I know like to rig the smallie beaver up. Um, they'll Texas rig it and they'll just put it below like a 3 8 ounce or a half ounce weight. And that's fine. And I do that sometimes. But my preferred method for these things actually is I put them on a shaky head. And it seems like when I'm fishing the rocks on the river and I have it rigged up as that whole one one kind of piece versus having the, you know, the swinging of the Texas rig uh, weight. Uh, it seems like it doesn't get hung up in the rocks quite as much and it does produce some fish. So if you're ever on, on the river and you're looking for something to try, throw these babies on a shaky head and you'll, you'll probably catch some stuff, say that. And then you got your classic uh, uh, sweet beaver and these are pretty much my favorite flipping bait. I use these a lot and I use the, uh, the pit boss a lot from Havoc or Power bait, I think, is the one that's mainly producing them now. But yeah, I use these all the all the time. I pretty much always have one rigged up on my heavy rod uh, with either a half ounce or a three quarter ounce weight when I leave. And you put one of these on, te on the Texas rig, and you pitch it up under a dock. You flip it into some weeds. You put it in some lily pads, and there's a bass nearby. Chances are they're eating it. So I got those babies in the what is this? They call it. They got their own names for the colors. They got the penetration. And you got the Magic Cross Swirl, which I really like these on lakes, especially uh, where there's a lot of bluegills because uh, here I'll open those ones up for you too. I like these on lakes with a lot of bluegills because you can see how well that imitates a bluegill. It's got the black or uh, the green pumpkin and the light blue. Uh, it's just a really nice profile, really nice match for the bluegills that we have here in Wisconsin. 
Um, so bass kind of just, they just hammer those on the lakes around here. Anyhow. So I got those. So I got those two colors in the, I got those in the sweet beaver and the smallie beaver. And then I also got the green pumpkin color, which is classic. Every bass angler knows the green pumpkin, but love these things as well. And then I got some more of those. Gosh, guys, this is crazy. I've never ordered so much stuff. This is the, uh, got the smallie beaver in the green goby. I think that's going to do really well in a lot of different places I fish. I like that it's got that kind of that gold flake to it. I think that's really going to shine, especially when I'm fishing it kind of deeper or in some more murky water. And I fish a lot of murky water being that I'm on the Wisconsin River. So we got those, we got some more of the speed craws and uh, they were actually out of the black and blue speed, speed craws. I have a couple bags left, but those are my main go-to ones on the swim jigs that I throw is the black and blue. But I also do like to throw these Okeechobee craws too. And the nice thing about that Okeechobee craw, you can throw it on a couple different color jigs just because it is more of a multicolor uh, pattern. So we got a whole bunch of the stuff from Reaction Innovations here. Look at that all out. I don't need to keep talking about it. It's all the same stuff, the Smalley Beaver and the Sweet Beaver from them. Oh, I guess I didn't mention this. I did get the Smalley or the Sweet Beaver in watermelon as well. I haven't really used that color a whole lot, but it looked good, so I got some. And this bait, guys, I've never used it before. I don't know anybody that throws it but they actually offer them on Tackle Warehouse. You can get a 100 pack of these things for $25.99. And that's a pretty good deal considering, you know, one bag of the uh, smally beavers or the sweet beavers are, you know, about seven bucks. So you get a hundred pack of these things, $26. So I, I picked up two bags and they're actually, I think they're made by Big Bite Baits if I remember correctly. But anyway, you can see here, I got, it's called a craw tube guys and you can see I got two 100 packs of them and I'm really curious to try these things I've never thrown them before I'm going to open them up and show you kind of what they are uh, they just have a really nice um, I don't know they got the claws on them and then they got nice the nice little kind of standard tube skirt to them so I think that's really going to give a good action in the water uh, I'm planning to use them you know for a lot of different things I guess I'm going to put them put them in the weeds, flipping. I'm gonna put them under docks. I'm going to drag them on the bottom. I'm just gonna try and see what I can make happen with these things. I mean, for for the price and the value you get with them, if you're getting a good bait, these are something I could definitely see myself carrying all the time in the boat. Uh, if you wanna see a review on these, I think, I think I will do one actually. If you wanna see a review though, leave a comment down below, let me know, or message me on Facebook or on Instagram. You know, XC Outdoors, we're on, we're on all three of the, the main the main ones, so uh, I'll leave the links to those pages in the description as well. So let me know if you want to see a review on those. But yeah, I did get those in your classic black and blue and your classic green pumpkin. Uh, those are kind of my main go-to colors. So I now own 200 craw tubes. Sweet. We got some more of those sweet beavers. We got some more smally beavers. I got oh, too many of these freaking things. And then we got more of the smoke purple speed cross. These things out of the way. And then we did buy just a little uh, plastic tackle box I'm planning to use for my, uh, like my finesse jigs, my Ned rigs, and my shaky heads, and just my regular ball head jigs, and maybe my tube jigs as well. Uh, I'm planning to put that all in this little box here, so I, did, I just didn't have a really good way to organize it. It's nothing special, but that's what I'm going to be doing with that guy. And then I guess we'll move on to those jigs. So we got those, we got those, and we got these, and one more. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we got some of the uh, VMC Rugby Jig. These are my shaky heads. I always, I pretty much always use. I like how they got that nice football shaped head to them. I use them on the river and the rocks, like I said, so that football shaped head seems to uh, come out of snags and uh, avoid snags a little bit better. Uh, so I, I got those in the 316 ounce 
and I got them in the 3 8 sound, so I'm going to try fishing them a little bit deeper, and I found that the 3 16 doesn't quite get down there as fast as I wanted it to, so I'm going to try the 3 8 Might be a little bit heavy, but we're going to find out. It's kind of a trial and error thing. So we got those, a couple packs of them. I'm not going to pull them all out and explain them all. But uh, then we also did get the weighted wacky jig from VMC. And the thing I use these mostly for is on the river or in deeper water. But mainly on the river, especially when I'm fishing up near a nice uh, heavy current bank or near some logs or something where I want to get into the strike zone quicker. Because if I throw that unweighted Senko out there, it's just not going to get into the strike zone that I want it to be in. It's going to end up down the river and I'm going to miss the fish completely. So I like to throw the heavier, um, wacky, weighted wacky jig in those situations. And then um, I don't do a whole lot of Ned Rig fishing, but I did see these jigs on Tackle Warehouse and thought I'd give them a try as well. They're these Berkeley, uh, not Berkeley, Berkeley, I'm sorry guys, Berkeley half head Ned Rig jigs. And they're a f kind of, they're like a fraction of the cost of some of the other brands out there. And they look pretty good. So I'm going to give them a try. Um, the hooks don't look quite, I'll pull them out. Because a lot of you guys, I know the Ned Rig is the big, uh, kind of the big thing with everybody right now. Especially the smallmouth fishermen. I don't throw them that much. But let's see here. So the hooks don't look quite, I'm going to get a little closer. The hooks don't look quite as nice as like the uh, the Z-Man ones, the shrooms. They don't look quite as good, but for what I'm doing, and I think I think these are gonna be just fine. You know, I'm gonna try them out this year and see how, how they do. So I got a bunch of those because they're, like you can get a couple packs of those for the same price as most of the other brands. I got a few packs of them. Then I got some of the Dirty Jigs Tackle, uh, No Jack Punching Jig, and I don't know how much actual punching I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to use these kind of for deeper grass lines and deeper weeds and all around just deeper water. I got them all pretty much in an ounce. Uh, so I'm going to probably use these and tip them with the uh, Sweet Beavers and the Pit Bosses. Uh, I'm just kind of giving them a try. I haven't used them a whole lot in the past, but these looked, they looked like, they looked like something that's going to work. So I'm going to try them. And then uh, pretty much Something I do not leave home without is these uh, these lethal weapon swim jigs. I got another bait that Dan uh, Dan put me on to a couple of years ago, and ever since trying them here, we'll get this one because this one's messy for some reason. Somebody must have opened it. Um, but these things, you know, I use them a couple different ways, and you can see they do have a really really nice hook on them and they do have the skirts tied on instead of uh put on with a rubber band so the skirts don't come off easy and they have a nice shiny paint job to them nice durable paint job all around i've been extremely happy with these jigs i throw them a lot and i use them for skipping up under docks and i use them for uh, just throwing into regular heavy cover you know in weeds over weeds great versatile bait and something you can catch some really big fish on and then one thing I found that I've been doing lately is I've been taking it and cutting that skirt right off, right at the hook bend. And uh, I'm actually putting a sweet or a smally beaver, I'm sorry, a smally beaver on there and or whatever drag bait you want to use. Something without a lot of action. I'm throwing it out with that on there and just dragging it along the bottom like it is a casting jig. And it seems to be getting bit quite a bit. so bit quite a bit it seems to be getting bit um so that's something i've been doing lately it's something you guys could give a try to it's i guess not the correct way but this is that's something i do i like doing it so these swim jigs though they are money definitely money i would definitely recommend them uh, another thing i got i got three colors of the booyah pad crasher frogs uh, I used these pretty much exclusively last year for any frog fishing I did. I like to use these and I like to use toads. So I bought three different colors of these. I got the regular frog, I got the black and blue, and I got the white. Uh, seems like different days the fish just want uh, different things. So I try and keep each one on the boat ready to go at a moment's notice. But these things for the money, uh, I don't think you can really beat them because a lot of frogs that 
perform in a comparable fashion are about five to six dollars more expensive. I think you can get these ones for about five bucks. So really, really good frog. Um, cast a mile, you cast it way back into the farthest, farthest back corner of some duckweed and you just start working that, that thing through that dark weed and bass comes up, scoops it and uh, you, you'll have no problems. They're nice and soft. So they, they do get a really good hookup and uh, I haven't had any issues with losing fish with them. And uh, I gotta say, for being such a soft frog, they are extremely durable. So do love that that bait. Um, let's see, is there anything else, guys? Pretty much all the same stuff that I already showed you. I did get some of the, just their standard wacky hooks, the one uh wacky hooks. You can't really have too many of those on the boat, like I said. Especially if you take somebody with you, like a kid or somebody who doesn't fish much, you can th you can hook them up with a wacky rig. They're they're almost guaranteed to get bites, and you know if they lose a couple, you got more on the boat. But uh, other than that, oh, one more thing, guys, one more thing. I uh, I was invited to a, I was invited to a dinner with the Bass Federation in Wisconsin for uh, finishing in the top 10 last year for co-anglers. And unfortunately due to the COVID-19 crisis that's going on, they canceled the dinner and they just sent us all um, a check for $100 each in, in return. So I took that $100 and I put it towards a new rod and I, honestly I was nervous buying this rod because I've never purchased anything from Quantum before. Uh, this is the Quantum G-Force rod. It's uh, it's one of their signature series rods. A little nervous buying this rod because like I said I've never bought anything from Quantum before and uh, upon getting this in my hands this has to be the best feeling rod I own and now I don't own you know all uh, super expensive rods. I own most of my rods are $100 or less, and I think this rod, MSRP on it was $109.95, and the reason I bought it was it was on sale for $69.95, so I took a chance on it, and I haven't fished it yet, but guys, this is one good, solid feeling rod, uh, very well balanced, the guides seem super duper durable, uh, I got it in the 7.6 Heavy, because as you can tell, I throw a lot of heavier baits, so I got it in the 7.6 Heavy, I still gotta get a reel for it, um, probably going to go with a lose on that one. I did buy a Shimano SLX last year. Really like that reel as well. So it's probably going to be between one of those two. But like I said, guys, this rod for the money uh, feels just amazing in the hand and I cannot wait to fish with it. I just cannot wait to fish with it. But that seems to be the tackle haul of my 2020 fishing season. I don't think I'm going to have any more orders like this, but uh, I do appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to us, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Uh, if you do have anything you wanted to say, if you want to actually guys, before you go, if you want to see a review on this rod, because I'm so excited to fish with it. If you want to see a review on this rod, leave a comment down below, let me know, and I would be happy to review this rod. But uh, otherwise, guys, thanks again for watching, and we will catch you next time. We're out. Perfect.